Welcome to the video number six of the Sapier video training series. In this video, we're going to be covering Sapier pads. The Sapier pads are a mechanism that Sapier provides to handle different conditions, different logic. So you can see it as an if-then statement. So if in the trigger app as A happens, a condition A happens, then execute something. Or if in the um, trigger app B happens, then execute something else. So uh, in this video, we are going to be um, implementing uh, a SAP using Google Form as the trigger app uh, where what we're going to do there is uh, provide a survey to uh, a set of developers um, where we are going to ask them uh, to pick a language uh, that they want to learn in the future. In this case, we're going to provide two options, Golang and Python. And based on that selection, we are going to implement two different paths to handle each condition. So in the path A, uh, we are going to uh, store in a Google Sheet all the information uh, regarding the students that selected Golang as the language that they want to learn. And a path B, uh, where we are going to store in the Google Sheet the data of the students that selected Python as the language as the language that they uh, want to learn. So let's jump into the computer and let's make a SAP using Sapier pads. Let's make a SAP uh, using Sapier pads. So I'm going to click on make a SAP. First, I'm going to select Google Forms. This is going to be the survey that we are going to provide to a set of uh, developers, students, um, to ask them about which language they would like to learn uh, in the future. Um, and we provide, two, we provide two options, Golang and Python. And as the trigger event, we are going to select a new response in a spreadsheet. Uh, remember that when you create a Google form, it's going to uh, have uh, associated to it a Google spreadsheet where it's going to store all the responses. So that is why uh, we need to select this event as the trigger event um, in this uh, first trigger step. So we're going to select new response in the spreadsheet. We're going to press on save plus continue. And we're going to connect an account. We have that already set up. And we're going to check that everything is working as expected. So we are good. And before moving to the next step, I'm actually going to submit a couple of responses here. So um, let's do a preview of this. Uh, so I'm going to add a couple of uh, responses. If, um, let's call it python1 at email.com. And we are going to choose Python in this case. And we're going to submit another response. And we are going to call it golang1 at email come and we are going to select a uh, golang as the programming language okay let's go back to sapier and now we are going to press on say plus continue and now uh, sapier should pull uh, first we need to select the spreadsheet yeah that's something that i was missing so here is where we have our uh, survey responses and the worksheet is going to be the form responses one. That is actually this one here. Sorry. 
um, here. And here we have the two, the two responses. Okay, so let's continue. And now we should get the two uh, responses. Response A, that is the Golan selection, and a response B, that is the Python selection. Okay, so we are going uh, to have a new step that is going to be a path. Where by default, Sapir creates two paths, a path A and a path B. In the path A, we are going to have the condition to handle the uh, Golang language selection. Um, well, we are going to give it as it is. Let's call it um, path um, or let's call it, um, Golang path. I'm going to click on continue. And here is where I can set up a rule or a condition where I'm going to say that if um, the language selection uh, is equals uh, exactly matches to Golang because those were the options that we are providing to uh, in the form. Um, I'm going to test this and continue. And here we can check that we, we have some sample data. I'm going to click on continue here. And I'm going to choose an action associated to that condition. And here I'm going to select Google Sheets. I already created a couple of uh, Google Sheets, one to store the students that selected uh, Golang and another one uh, to store the students that selected Python. So I'm going to select um, create a spreadsheet row. I'm going to press on site plus continue. I need to connect an account here. That's going to be this one. I'm going to press on allow. Okay, I'm going to test that everything is working as expected. Okay, and now I'm going to click on site plus continue. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the spreadsheet that is going to store the Golang uh, engineers or the, sorry, or the Golang, the, the student that, that selected Golang as the language they want to learn. I'm going to select um, Golang training. This is the name of the spreadsheet. And the worksheet is gonna be the sheet one. So it's gonna be, this one. And also we can see here that it, this is this list is still empty. And now I'm going to press on continue. Uh, sorry. Um, and here I need to insert the field that is part, is part of the uh, Google form response with the email address. I'm going to press on continue. And before running the test, I'm going to check here that we don't have any students yet. So when I'm, now I'm going to click on send test to Google Sheets. And now we should have, yes, now we have um, the student uh, as part of this uh, list. And now we are going to save and close this. And we are going to create uh, the B path. And uh, that is going to be the the the, fl the flow or the the path to handle the Python selection. So I'm going to click uh, on path B. I'm going to rename this as the Python path path. 
I'm going to press on continue. Here, I'm going to set the rules. I'm going to select what is the actual uh, attribute that includes the language selection. And I'm going to um, add as a condition um, exactly match so that the selection exactly match the value Python. Just let me double check. Yes, the casing. Yes, it's exactly this one. So um, I'm going to click on test and continue. Okay, we get some sample data and we are going to continue. And we are going to select Google Sheets to store the Python students there. I'm going to select uh, create a spreadsheet row again and to click on press save plus continue I'm going to test that um, we are still good here uh, on the connection with the uh, with our account I'm going to continue and then now I'm going to select the Google sheet from my Google Drive I'm going to select first my Google Drive then I'm going to set the spreadsheet this one is going to be the Python training spreadsheet. That is actually this one. And here we can also see that it is still empty with no students uh, included. Um, and now I'm going to select the worksheet. That is going to be the sheet one. And also I need to select uh, the email address that I'm going to store on that spreadsheet. I'm going to press on continue. And before running the, the test, I'm going to um, to check that we don't have any Python students there. And before doing that, I am going to select a different um input so let's save and close this and let's go back to the new response in the spreadsheet and let's select uh, sorry here let's select response b that is actually the one that includes python as the selected language i'm going to select this one i'm going to click on continue and now on the path B is going to use that response. Uh, so we are going to be able to test this. So now I'm going back to path B. Um, I'm going to uh, continue here. I'm going to test and continue here. I'm going to move forward to step, uh, to the action step, sorry. And here I'm going to test this step. Um, let me um, just refresh this, refresh fields. Yes, here, as we can see, we have the Python selection. So now we are going to test with the right, uh, say, set of data. Um, let's check again that we still don't have any students on that spreadsheet. Now I'm going to press on send test to Google Sheets. And now uh, we should have that new student included on the list. So going back to the um, to the app that we created, I'm going to click on finish. I'm going to click, I'm going to name this app as um, Programming a language survey and just to review what we've done here, we created one trigger application that is a Google form that includes these two options, um, Golang or Python, 
and also, of course, the email address of the student in order to uh, store that information in one of the Google Sheets, in the Golang Training Google Sheet or in the Python Training uh, Google Sheet. So after that, we are um, we added uh, two paths, a path A for Golang and a path B for Python. And on each of these uh, paths, we are storing the information based on the condition. Let's review one of them. So for example, in this case, in the Golang path, we created this set of rules where we are saying, okay, um, if the student or the developer uh, select uh, Python or selected, uh, no, in this case, sorry, selected Golang, um, then we are going to proceed to uh, the this action. And this action is going to be a store the student data, the student's email on the uh, Golang uh, training spreadsheet. And we implemented pretty much the same for the other uh, path, the path B uh, for the Python selection. So that's all I have for, for today. Um, so ask any questions uh, in, the, in the comments section. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you, and I see you in the next video. Bye.